All right, so cooler with clouds. Even though that cold front moved through and wrenched out the moisture, we're still holding on to some cloud cover. We got low level moisture still trying to battle in from the Gulf. So winds will pick up. They've done so. But another cold front later on in the week. So what happened today? 62. Okay, that's not too bad. That's almost 10 degrees below average. But with the winds, the cloud cover, that felt kind of nippy outside. We've been as high as 88 back in 1965. All right, here's our future temperatures. So look at this. Dropping into the 40s overnight. We lost a lot of moisture. Heat's escaping into the atmosphere. Cooler, dry, sinking air is moving down from the north and is looking to drop our temperatures as they drop right off the screen as well. But our winds, that's really the main problem because when that wind wasn't blowing, it wasn't too bad. I mean, low 60s, not too bad. But when you get these with the cooler temperatures and the winds whipping up, hey, makes it feel a lot more, a lot colder. You know, the real feel effect could take us down into the 50s or the 40s. Then overnight, if we're in the 40s with that wind, hey, could feel like the 30s in some spots. These winds should start to let up by Wednesday. We'll start to see warmer temperatures by Wednesday as well. All right, look at this. Looks like the desert now. We all we used to have temperatures or dew point temperatures in the 50s and 60s. That boundary came through. Just like you take a, a shirt that's all wet and wring out all that moisture. That's what happened. Now look at these dew points in the 20s and the 30s. They'll slowly start to rebound, especially later in the week when high pressure moves off. Um, here we are now. High pressure is going to move off. You'll start to see more moisture. But for now, what happened? Boundary pushed through the area. Cool, dry, sinking air moving in. We're seeing winds along the boundary and, and the winds moving from the north, hitting the coast. We're seeing some strong winds in the crossroads. Now, as I mentioned, the cool air will start to move off or be replaced by warmer air, but the winds will start to die down. Even though high pressure is moving into the area, hey, it, we're still holding on to some cloud cover, moisture moving in from a, a few different locations. Um, not going to allow for showers, though, for a couple of days with the high there. The high will start to move off, though, and when that happens, then we'll start to see more warm moisture out of the Gulf. Temperatures will be on the rise, but rain chances will increase as well. Let's go to our marine forecast. So 66 degrees for that water, slowly, slowly dropping down. Now seas will be four to six, occasionally up to eight feet. Now winds have been, um, they've, they've downgraded enough or they will to not warrant a small craft advisory anymore, but still the bays will be on the choppy side. Be careful out there. So 50s this evening overnight, getting close to that 40 degree mark. We'll be at 50, mostly cloudy, but dry. And then for tomorrow, 55 degrees with those winds, mostly cloudy. I'm wearing a jacket, that's for sure. I don't know, some of you are tougher than me, though. So looking ahead, here's what we have. So I talked about it. We stay cool. Then that golf return flow, that warm moisture moves back in. Temperatures shoot up, but so do those rain chances. Then another boundary comes down. Doesn't really knock us down too badly, but keeping moisture and rain chances alive probably for our next weekend.